What's going on everybody? We're going to be doing a small little update video just to give you some information as well as add into this video, you know, basically just us. <laughs> if you followed me, you'll see what happened, but I'm going to put a little clip of what happened on a live stream and, you know, we'll talk about it there, but we're, we're going to be fixing the wall downstairs. So if, if that's anything that you know about what happened, then you'll know what happened, but let's get into the update. Um, I still don't have the car. It's been another like two weeks or so. Um, I don't know at this point, you know, there's, it's just, I, I get asked a lot, where's the car? Where's the car? There's a lot going on. It's a build. You know what I mean? Things, things have to come together. But the most recent issue we've come across was a, um, at wide open throttle, a, uh, oil pressure low issue. So we're losing oil pressure at watt, which makes no sense because why <laughs> everything seems to be good everything was going fine so that's that's basically the current issue EMP is going to be swapping out the oil pump and and a bunch of pretty much everything associated with what could possibly cause low oil pressure thank god my motor wasn't damaged everything seems fine with that we should be getting the car back this week uh, as I film it it's the weekend so during the week we should get the car back but the problem is I'm going on vacation That'll be talked about in the video as well. So it's going to be tough. I'm just trying to get videos filmed. I don't know how this video is going to go over well. If you guys want more personal stuff, more updates, more whatever, more real life. I'm down for that. I'd like to just start posting more videos. This was never going to be like just a car oriented channel. But anyway, that's that's what the issue is. But when I get the car back, I do have EMP currently... Um, trimming down the rear suspension to fit these welds. As some of you know, who have done a 15 inch conversion, uh, not every wheel is the same. So when he did whatever he did to trim down and, and this and that for the race stars, that was fine. It fit the race stars perfect, but it didn't necessarily fit the, the welds. So a little bit extra trimming had to be done, grinding and stuff that we tried to do, but we're just, you know, we're just not super comfortable handling that kind of situation and he's obviously been doing it for a long time so we're gonna have him do it and uh, that'll be that hopefully when we get it back we'll be able to get a lot more pictures up on Instagram um, videos about the weld I want to do a comparison of the race stars and the welds the differences and um, that'll be another video coming I got a, I got ideas I, I do have ideas I want to film as much as I possibly can for this car but anyway that's the update the cars down still I don't want to take too, too much time in this video because it's probably already going to be just stupid long. Just a fair warning here. We have no idea what we're doing. I'm going to say that again in the filming of it because it's already been filmed. We have no idea what the hell we were doing. My buddy works as a union worker, but he does sheet metal stuff. And me, I'm not super handy when it comes to like house stuff. So again, you know, we're not claiming to know what the hell we're doing. This was more of just like a documenting type thing since people keep asking me pretty much on a daily basis how's the wall how's the wall how's the wall well here you go here's the damn wall the wall's getting fixed uh it's in the phases of getting fixed it still has some work to be done but the majority of the work's done so i'm going to show you that next and that's it so what's going on everybody so you don't see a car still but that's okay it's coming soon it's raining out that sucks but we don't need to be out there we don't need to be in here um a lot of you know that my channel's mostly a car install mod um fun fact type thing uh detailing type thing but what i always wanted to do was eventually do a random thing on here maybe flip the camera we'll see how that goes one day someday and um basically what we're going to do is start some of that today not necessarily flipping the camera but we're going to do some thing and that something doesn't involve this garage it doesn't involve clean towels and more towels and more towels and products it doesn't involve that it doesn't involve mods that need to be installed it doesn't even involve a thing that you're probably even interested in what it does involve is inside the house now if any of you follow me on instagram then you may have seen a live stream not that long ago but kind of a while back where i was running down the stairs these stairs and I fell down the stairs on live stream. And what happened? What happened on that glorious day? Well, I put a giant hole in the freaking wall. Oh, oh shit! Dude, 
Dude, I'm not kidding. <laughs> I just fell down the stairs and just busted a hole in the fucking wall. I can't even. Holy shit, dude. Oh my god, Dan, dude. Dan. I just fell down the stairs and went, <laughs> I went into the wall and broke the wall. <laughs> no. Oh my god. Are you f***ing kidding me, dude? <laughs> Holy shit. Oh my god, dude. No way. There's no way. No way. No way that just happened. And this is a problem. This is gonna be uh, good stuff. <laughs> Good luck filming today. So this is the situation we're dealing with and I got a buddy coming over and you know he's probably very handy when it comes to stuff like this. I'm not. We're watching a YouTube video or two. We're going to go to the hardware store and we're going to buy things to try to fix this. Are we going to be successful? I have no idea. But are you going to watch this? I mean you might stay to watch this. Uh, this is basically my shoulder going into this and falling down on the ground. So I guess what we're gonna do today when he gets here is we're gonna take a piece of this to color match and then we're gonna run to the hardware store, buy some drywall and, and whatever the hell, sheet rock, I don't know what this is called. Listen, if you're if you're a professional, don't, don't roast me too much. Uh, what we're gonna end up doing is, just the gist of it, because I honestly don't know, is we're gonna cut a square out of this and then we're gonna put a matching square inside of there with some kind of like mesh tape stuff and spackle. I think the guy called it mud. So uh, do I have to go outside and take mud from the ground? I don't know. And then we're gonna put that on there. We're gonna sand it and put it on there again and sand it and, and whatever. And then that's where we're gonna end this video. Uh, will I show you the finished product? Probably I'll glance over it after I paint it in a, in a week. Why am I gonna wait a week to paint it? I'm leaving for a vacation soon and there's just no time for me to do this and everything else. Today's the day for me to fix this because this just looks stupid. Here's a fun fact. I can't stand these neighbors and they're moving out today. So I won't have to deal with them ever again. And that's freaking awesome. But the best part is they're moving out in the rain. That's just justice. We're gonna learn by trying, learn by doing, and we're gonna mess this shit up. That's all that comes out? That's it. Ah, <laughs> uh, no! Now we know which ones to get. They made this very, I mean, how many people are falling downstairs on live stream? <laughs> now we just gotta get paint mashed. Total and utter shit show status. I mean, we've never done this. No, I, I really haven't actually. I'll just get this out. Well, how do you think? Of course, I don't have a ruler or anything straight and flat. Are you serious? Yeah. Nah, no, you're lying. Where am I gonna put a fing ruler in here? You gotta use something with a straight edge. That's your hole. The scary part is, I don't know what the fuck we're doing. We're just swinging it. Yeah, kind of. So, I wanna. You're making it worse. Yeah, but this is... You're making it worse. You're making it worse. So we're just going to place it on there and put a couple... Ow. Did you cut yourself? No. I was going to say. Blood gets views, baby. Oh, well, by the way, I charged my down. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Good. I'm not cheap. Pay for what you get. So you said 15 we're going? Yeah. What does it matter? 
Are we really getting this crazy right now? Yeah, come on. Well, I'm gonna teach you some union. Teach me fucking nothing. How fucking straight do I need to make this? That line. How fuck am I gonna do that? You're doing it. Shut up. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm only kidding, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> asshole. This is gonna be the fucked up one, huh? Come on, you got it. Wait, I threw Go from that end. Uh, uh. Oh. Oh. <laughs> now what? Oh, 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 don't do that. Hey, you, you just you? broke it. No, I didn't. Look, well, look what you did. It's on the line. Oh, oh. You. it's perfectly on the line. Okay, What's good. the problem? Good, 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 good. Jesus okay. Christ. I thought this fucking broke it out. <laughs> no. <laughs> Not too shabby. Not too shabby. Not too professional. No. <laughs> no. This part. This is where it gets dirty. Yeah. Look at you turn it into a little baker's mixing tool. Yeah. Alright guys, so that's the end of this video. Like I said, you know, I have no idea what I'm doing when it comes to drywall and patching things. Um, I'm sure eventually down the line, when I become a full-grown adult, when I'm a real boy, I'll learn how to do all that stuff. But for now, that's pretty much all I got. I watched a lot because, you know, even though my buddy Ben didn't really know what he was doing, he just took charge. I basically measured out the piece, cut it with a razor. I did a damn good job following that line, by the way. So props to me for that one. And he put it on. I'm going to show you what it looks like. Obviously, I have a couple clips here and there of him putting things on. Now, by the way, just before I even go in there and I show you guys, I don't want to hear any crap. We're not claiming to be, like, professionals. This isn't a how-to. This isn't a guide video. This isn't one of those videos where it's like, oh, look at this. This is the right way. Absolutely do not follow anything we've done. Nothing. Not even drawing a line. Don't even follow that as a guide from me, okay? Please, just don't. This video is just supposed to be for fun because I really don't have much to post as of this moment in time. But videos are coming, ideas are flowing. So we're gonna see how this goes. But this is the finished product for right now. Um, there's multi stages to this. Uh, I kind of ran out of time today. So what we're gonna do is once this dries, I'm gonna sand it down make it nice and smooth. If there's any extra issues, um, if it needs a little bit more of the spackle, I think that's what it's called, don't correct me, I don't care. Uh, we'll put that back on, let that dry, sand it down. Again, we're not professionals, there is no time deadline. This was just a hole in my wall. Honestly, I think walking up to this looks a hell of a lot better than a gaping hole in the wall. To finalize it, once we sand it down and fill it in, probably sand it down again, I will paint this whole wall here so that it doesn't look like crap and I'll probably paint that section here too because it looks like there's marks. That was probably from my mother's wheelchair. Different stories for different days, but um, that's it. You know, there's a mess. We tried. We did the best we could. Did we do it perfect? Absolutely not. Should you do what we did? Absolutely not. Is it bothering me that this is not a perfect square? Because that didn't go down? Oh, absolutely. It's driving me absolutely freaking ape shit nuts. Do I uh, want to fix it? No, I'm leaving. I'm done. If you guys like this video, I'm going to try to do more like vlog type things. When I get the car back, I do plan on doing the driving vlog thing. I did like a couple small things here and there, but now that I got the dash cam with the black view, I could film on things and drive and talk about topics. And, you know, if you're interested in that, please let me know in the comment section below. So let's chit chat in the comments section. What do you want to see more of on this channel? Obviously, I'm going to start putting a couple more things on detailing here and there, but here's the problem. There's so many big detailing pages, and it's not that I don't feel like there's room for 
more creators, but I just feel like so much stuff is done and overdone and killed. You know, I'll do little things here and there, but I'm never going to compete with Pan the Organizer, Obsessed Garage, and all these other channels. I just won't. I love watching them. I respect them. And there's just no way I'm going to turn into a full-blown detailing channel. So that's why this channel is kind of like a mismatch of things. But if you respect that and you like that, stick around. If you're new and you kind of sort of want to see where this channel goes, subscribe. If you are subscribed... Just stick with me. <laughs> I'm trying my best here. But if you also have any other suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. I'm open to anything as long as it's not stripping because I don't do that and nobody wants to see that. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all. Have a great day. Drywall sucks. Goodbye.